Welcome back to Mystery Truth. Amidst the ongoing feuds going around the world between Russia and probably the rest of the world, NATO and its allies, Ukraine, United States, and the threat of Russia as regards releasing nuclear weapons, we ask today, can nuclear weapons be intercepted? So, nuclear weapons generally are the most deadly devices on Earth. But can they be intercepted as threats of nuclear weapon usage have loomed in recent months while the Ukraine conflict endures? Let's take a look at the possibilities. As it stands, there are currently around 13,018 nuclear weapons in circulation and according to Statista, almost 90% of them are split between two countries, Russia and the United States. Although deemed not irrational enough to intentionally use nuclear weapons against the West by former Russian minister Andrei Kozirev, Russian President Vladimir Putin has continuously posed what has been interpreted as threats to do so if interception continues to its invasion of Ukraine. Nuclear weapons are described as the most dangerous weapons on Earth, causing mass destruction and long-term environmental effects when detonated due to the sheer volume of heat and radiation emitted. Just one bomb can destroy an entire city and depending on the size of the bomb, populations up to 53 miles away can feel the effects including temporary blindness if in direct view of the blast. Nuclear bombs have also been used once in history. It has only been used once in history when the United States detonated two over Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. The recorded death tolls are estimates, but it is thought around 140,000 people were killed in the blast in Hiroshima and at least 74,000 people died in Nagasaki. The nuclear radiation released by the bombs caused thousands more people to die from radiation sickness in the weeks months and years afterwards. The development of these weapons of mass destruction triggered the nuclear arms race, a competition for supremacy in nuclear warfare between the United States, the Soviet Union and their respective allies in the years after. This competition lasted the rest of the Cold War, peaking in 1986 with an estimated total of more than 64,000 nuclear warheads in circulation across countries. However, as the Soviet Union collapsed and the Cold War drew to a close, tensions between the East and West de-escalated and nuclear disarmament began. Since the 1980s, Russia's nuclear arsenal is reported to have decreased by a factor of nine, and the US arsenal is now six times smaller. However, Nine countries are still in possession of nuclear weapons, with the United States and Russia in possession of several thousands each. Knowing how deadly these weapons are, countries in possession maintain that their nuclear stockpiles are kept simply in the interest of self-defense. Although, mobilization of nuclear forces, as Russia ordered in February, is generally interpreted as a sign of international aggression. So we ask now, can nuclear bombs be intercepted when they are released? The short answer is yes. Nuclear bombs can be intercepted, albeit quite difficult to do. Ballistic missiles are used to deliver nuclear bombs in a flight trajectory. To counter ballistic missiles, the Soviet Union developed anti-ballistic missiles in the 1960s in the thick of the nuclear arms race to protect the USSR. Anti-ballistic missiles, ABM, are believed to be capable of destroying the deadly nuclear missiles before they hit targets. ABMs are designed to identify and track the incoming ballistic missile to which an interceptor is launched to destroy the missile. This is usually carried out by a booster rocket that can either crash into the missile, destroying it on impact, or use a blast fragmentation warhead to detonate the payload in the missile without causing a nuclear explosion. However, even if the ABM is successful, 
there is still a possibility the event could result in a scattering of plutonium or uranium core over the area it has been destroyed, which could consequently cause a radiation hazard. Although this would be a better result than the destruction of an entire city. Wow! Nuclear bombing. Nuclear winter. We pray we don't see it in this our generation. We pray this conflict doesn't result to it. Whatever you have to say concerning this, drop your comments in the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much.